Hi, in this video we will see about metatoxic semiconductor gas sensors simply called MOS gas sensors. We always wish to lead a comfortable and sophisticated life. Most of the products that we use in our day-to-day -day life is manufactured by the industries. Industrialization leads to the emission of several toxic and inflammable gases. They become threat to the health of human beings, plants and animals. In order to check the emission of these types of gases, we, really, we rely mainly upon gas sensors. Gas sensors alarms everyone if the emission of toxic gases exceed the safety limit. What is a sensor? A sensor is a device that responds to a physical stimulus. A gas sensor checks the presence of gas in its vicinity. The sensing materials inside the sensor interacts with the gas which results in the change in the property. From the change in the property, we can measure the sensitivity. In addition to the deduction of toxic gases, gas sensors are used in several other applications. They are used to monitor the quality of medicines, to monitor the quality of food, drinks, perfumes, cosmetics and chemical products. They are also used in the production of chemical and biological warfare agents. In space explorations, they are used to study the planet's atmospheric constituents. In cars and planes, they are used as fire detectors and ventilation controllers. They are also used to find the leakage of organic solvents that pollutes air and water. These organic solvents are toxic and explosive in nature. So, to prevent any accidents, quick, selective and sensitive deduction of these gases is needed. A good sensor should have these characteristics. They should have high sensitivity and selectivity. Sensitivity means it should sense only the testing gas. It should not sense any other gases in its vicinity. It should be more stable. It should have long life cycle. It should operate at low temperature. It should have low response and recovery times. When a metal oxide semiconductor is exposed to a gas, its electrical property changes. And this property depends upon the type of the semiconductors. If the semiconductor is a N type and if the target gas is reducing gas, then the resistance decreases. If the target gas is oxidizing gas, then the resistance increases. In the case of P-type semiconductor, the resistance increases when reducing gases are present and the resistance decreases when oxidizing gases are present. Now we can see about the sensing mechanism in a metal oxide semiconductor towards a gas, namely ethanol. When a sensor is exposed to air, what happens means the oxygen molecules in the atmosphere get absorbed on the sensor surface to form reactive oxygen species by accepting an electron from the semiconductor. This results in the depletion of the electron in the semiconductor surface. When ethanol molecules come into contact with the sensor surface, the absorbed oxygen species interact with the ethanol molecules, donating the electron back to the semiconductor. This decreases the resistance of the semiconductor, depending upon the type of semiconductor. If the type of semiconductor is N-type, the resistance decreases. If the type of semiconductor is P-type, the resistance increases. This can be understood from this figure. So, this is uh, considered this uh, semiconductor tin oxide and these are tin atoms and uh, this orange colored uh, words are uh, oxygen atoms and this represents the oxygen vacancy. These oxygen vacancies are the favored sites of oxygen adsorption. SNO2 is an N-type semiconductor. When this metal oxide semiconductor is uh, placed in the air, what happens means the oxygen molecules get absorbed on the surface of the metal oxide semiconductor by accepting the electrons from the metal oxide semiconductor. This results in the depletion region in the metal oxide semiconductor. Hence, the resistance increases.
gases. When this semiconductor is exposed to any gases like ethanol, what happens means the absorbed oxygen species react with the ethanol molecules thereby releasing the electron back to the semiconductor by forming water molecules and carbon dioxide. This decreases the resistance. By calculating the change in the resistance, we can calculate the sensitivity. By this way, the sensitivity of a metal oxide semiconductor is measured based on the sensing mechanism. Thank you.